some portfolio protection. Bill Baruch's the founder and president of Blue Line Capital. Bill, you were just here with us yesterday. You jumped on a plane and you started getting concerned about a pullback, it looks like. Yeah, I, I think everybody can agree, and everybody's really said this just now, there's some exhaustion in the market. Now, we just got out of the Fed meeting, and I, and I like how uh, Mike Santoli said it yesterday, that the market had this afterglow. And I think it was it had some good follow through, but it's very rare to see a big move up like we had post Fed that then follows through and, and stays up there. I expect a little bit of volatility. The market did take on uh, the, the whole narrative from the Fed as, as leaving the three dots there. But we may see a little bit of hawkish tone when these Fed speakers begin to talk in the coming weeks. So I'm just taking a cautious approach, um, really just starting here right now with a half a percent of the entire portfolio. I bought SPY puts. These are the end of month, May uh, 500 strike. And it gives me a little bit of a cushion if this thing starts to pull back. I like to start it here. And the important thing is, I, I, Jim just said it, Steve just said it, it's very hard to time a correction. And I don't want to time a correction and, and you know sell your stocks. And so I start with a little bit of a cushion here. It's my way to really navigate what we could see in the coming, coming weeks or months. So, Bill, I know you say you can't time a correction. I think that's the consensus right here. But you are looking at something, some things in the currency market that are leading you to, to, to make this uh, downside protection move right now. The dollar uh, up just about 3 percent year to date, up about a half a percent since the Fed meeting. Why is that so concerning to you? The dollar has a very uh, inverse correlation to, to the equity market. And coming out of, of the Fed meeting, we've seen dollar strength in the last two days. Now, a lot of that, I mean, it's about what is the dollar getting paired against? And so we've seen the Japanese yen weaken to new lows, even after hiking against the dollar. We've seen the euro uh, pretty heavy here in recent trading. The British pound has taken a, a leg lower after their meeting yesterday. The Chinese yuan got pretty unhinged last night. If there is going to be some ripples through the currency market, you better believe it's going to be showing here in, in the S&P with a little bit of a pullback at minimum. All right, Bill Baruch with some downside protection. Bill, thank you very much. Uh, I want to toss it back to you guys.